This was one of those dinosaur bones that baffled me as a young lad. When this was published, I was a very small child. And when I learned about arms this size, of course, I thought of T-Rex and how there would be an animal that had to be a hundred foot long predator, Godzilla, if you will. But paleontologists are clever comparative anatomists and they noticed that these arms here on these Dinochirus have very similar to our Struthiomimus arms right here. And there are similar structures in the bones. And if you look at this one over here as well, and so they proposed that Dinochirus was actually not this giant, crazy, killing dinosaur, but was something else. And sure enough, it was a whole new kind of dinosaur called the Therizinosaur. Uh, its cousin is the giant Therizinosaurus with the huge claws on its hand, the longest claws of any terrestrial vertebrate, any vertebrate, period. And they originally thought to belong to sea turtles, they were so long. And so this is one of those bones, along with Quetzalcoatlus, that changed my life.